Everyone, welcome to the show. So another MAGA man has pleaded guilty to election threats following the 2020 election. And this comes with a little bit of a twist. 55-year-old Texas resident Chad Christopher Stark was charged with issuing threats using a telecommunication device. But Stark wasn't just issuing threats about what he planned to do to election officials. He actually offered to pay thousands of dollars for the murder of Georgia officials and a Georgia election worker, who I can only assume is Ruby Freeman. And he threatened that he and others would kill local law enforcement officers and their families if they interfered. So here's what this deranged Donald Trump supporter did and said. On January 5th of 2021, Stark posted an ad on Craigslist and it stated, quote, Georgia Patriots, it's time to kill official A, the Chinese agent, $10,000. So he's offering $10,000. Now, of course, he didn't write official A, right? That's just what they put in the report, but he actually included the official's name. He went on to write, quote, it's time to invoke our Second Amendment right. It's time to put a bullet in the treasonous Chinese official A. Then we will work our way down to official B, the local and federal corrupt judges. It's our duty as American patriots to put an end to the lives of these traitors and take back our country by force. If we want our country back, we have to exterminate these people. One good loyal patriot deer hunter in camo and a rifle can send a very clear message to these corrupt governors. Militia up, Georgia. It's time to spill blood. We need to pay a visit to official C and her family as well and put a bullet her behind the ears. Remember one thing, local law enforcement, the key word being local, we will find you oath breakers and we're going to pay your family to visit your mom, your dad, your brothers and your sisters, your children, your wife. We're going to make examples of traitors to our country. Death to you and all you communist friends. Yeah, I know. I read that exactly as it was written. So no, I did not say all those words wrong or <laughs> mix them up. Um, again, he used their actual names. He didn't say officials A, B, and C. So the U.S. Attorney's Office is the one who confirmed that Stark's threats were aimed at elected officials and an election worker, um, like I said. So I, I'm assuming it was Ruby Freeman since Trump and his allies targeted her so much. Uh, and again, this was Georgia. So on August 31st, Stark took a plea deal on one count of telecommunication threats. He now faces up to two years in prison. And the judge hasn't set a sentencing date yet, but I will definitely keep an eye out for that. I'll let you guys know when that all goes down and what happens. Um, but I guess, yay, you know, they're rounding them up. But how many more Starks are out there? How many more are flying under the radar? Anyway, I'll, I'll just keep reporting them as they come. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, please share and subscribe. Please donate if possible. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.